Hello, this is Overaptor, and welcome to another episode of Decidedly Vanilla. It's the first episode of season two, yay! And as you probably have already heard, um, we're sharing the server world with the Cherry Patch community. Uh, so where I am right now, oh, and we're calling the world the fifth choice. So this world is called the fifth choice. Uh, so, where I'm right now is spawn. So this is where you spawn if you spawn, or you don't have a bed or something. Uh, there's not much here yet, but there is this fancy, fancy schmancy tree. Now, let's go take a look. This tree was built by, I think, Tebby and Cherry, and inside is the wall of graffiti. Is also known as the Graffiti Tree. I know people have been placing stuff everywhere. Yeah, but my message is right there. Yep. And it'll be cool once this fills in with more people, but... Yeah. And if we walk around here... We have... The mailboxes, and I don't, I don't know why, but it, it se seems like all my uh, walking sounds don't play anymore. It's really weird. I wish they did, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look around later. But uh, let's check our mail. Do we have anything? We do, except I have no inventory space. Um, well, I'll be back to get these because I lent peace girl the trees and I said she could have them as long as she repaired me with five more so that's cool we'll bring those back at a later time um, now before I head off to do DV things I thought I would just take a quick quick walk over here it's going to be a bit long so uh, but you know journey is the journey this this where I'm going right now is not uh, our town the design of vanilla's town we're going to cherry patches town which they have named bears watch and I thought I would take you for the journey because then you get to see what it is and I can talk to you about stuff so yeah, this is where our server is going to be, and I really love this pass through with a waterfall. It actually goes on both sides. You can see that when you go through here. So the way this server is set up, I think a witch died here. We don't have the inventory space though. Okay, so the way this server is set up is that uh, Terry Patch and decidedly vanilla both have a town and with a certain radius of the town is their town uh, and back at spawn is spawn and you can tell where you are by the color because currently I'm still within the area of influence of spawn and you can see kaboom up there is currently within the area so, see I just went to the border so now I'm no longer in spawn and now I'm in um, I do this have place of a name? Not in spawn. I mean, I don't know, but this place. I, but my name is White, so I'm not currently anywhere. But you'll see once we. I'm gonna just hold tab while we do this. That's a dangerous area, and there you can see the creeper staring at us. No thanks, creeper. Um, see once I get close enough to the bear's watch my color will turn pink just like kaboom's this is really more magenta but yeah whatever now look at all the stuff they already have I'm not gonna really go into two details oh see I missed it but yeah I turned uh, I turned magenta this is the homeless shelter and soup kitchen very nice. It's a good idea. 
And then the only thing, other thing I'm going to show you is see, look how people have built all this stuff. It's a funky looking tree. People have already been to packed ice biomes. We're just going to show you their town hall. Ooh, look at that bridge. I like that. I don't think it's done. Because the towers don't connect to anything. But I like it so far. See, so this is their town hall. Hello. So yeah, we can tell where people are. So see, uh, we are both in uh, Bear's Watch, but Studs is somewhere else. Yeah, so this is their town hall. Not a bad setup. Very interesting indeed. Kaboom. Yeah, this is obviously a temporary bridge. I'll, I'll come and look at that later, once it's finished. I like bridges. Oh, there's Kaboom. Hi, Kaboom. Yep, we're just gonna keep going though, because we've got things to do. Alright, so it is becoming nighttime, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me walk this again. So I'm going to cut back once I'm back in the center of spawn. See you in the butt. So here we are, back at spawn, as you can see. I'm back to being orange. And there's the tree again. Now this is the road to decidedly vanilla's town which we have decided to name freehaven so this is the road to freehaven and i'm the one building the road uh and as you'll see as we go along it's not finished but it goes most of the way i think more than halfway right now and as you can see that's why my inventory is full because i've been working on it it's full of road supplies but this is what we have so far uh -huh. Let's eat some. Yep, and I I have not built any of the bridges yet. These are just temporary bridges until I figure out what it is I want the bridges to look like. But uh, this is basically the road to to Freehaven, and as you can see, we're still in the spawn technically. It's the world's smallest ravine with a cow at the bottom. Okay, let's keep going. See that? We just walked right over the water. Pretty cool, huh? Sprint right over water. Okay, so we go this way, past the sheep, and here's where we head up into the mountains because Freehaven is a mountain city. It's hard to do a tab. Okay. Well, yeah, see, it's, I missed where we changed, but you probably saw it on the video. But see, now we're in the white, which means we're nowhere in particular. Well, I should explain all the colors. So, uh, you're right. Orange is spawn. Uh, magenta is, uh, bear's watch. White is the right outside of spawn. Oops, I just fell off that temporary bridge. Uh, that's what I get for holding tab. Too many fingers doing too many things at once. Okay. See that I made the road. It's hard, kind of hard to see the road here, but I think that's a probably okay. And then this is where I, I haven't gotten any farther than this. But uh, we won't do any of it right now. Oh, and you're probably wondering what uh, those numbers mean. Uh, they uh, basically at the start of the server, they decided to just keep track of a random stat, not tell anyone what it was. So people just saw their scores going go up, but they didn't really know why. But we figured it out, and it number of. Uh, I think literally it's a number of centimeters fallen, but basically it, it measures distance fallen. So I currently have fallen 5,903,031 centimeters, which I believe that's, oops, that's achievements. Statistics, let's see, where is it? Fallen. 
you know, 59 kilometers, which is why, because if it's 59 kilometers, I can't draw on my screen. Let's use the bottom of this to draw, okay. So 59 ka would be putting decimal point there, which means this number is in centimeters. Anyway, if you didn't follow that, don't worry about it. It's distance fallen. So this uh, pillar marks the boundary between elsewhere and Freehaven. So pretty soon it should update. It should update. Why isn't it updating? Should be. Oh, there it goes. I'm not sure why. Well, anyway, uh, Freehaven is aqua color. And these pillars denote where the path, approximate path, I'm going to take the road to Freehaven. Uh, that way people know approximately where I'm going to build the road so they don't just build a house in the middle of the road. Uh, it's a pretty neat area though. I think, I think we did a good, picked a good spot. This used to flow over there, but I think someone decided that Oh, I guess they made it an illusion. It doesn't actually flow through. But they made it look like it did. Interesting. Anyway, on we go. As you can see to the right, there's a building. And I believe that is the start of Kane's house. I haven't, I haven't started building a house yet. So I've been focusing on the road, really. And the road will come somewhere through here. I haven't decided this part yet. And then I haven't made any more pillars, but roads will be in through here as well. And most of these trees are just temporary farms. Obviously, we're not going to place our farms in the middle of the center of town. That would be ridiculous. And yeah, so we'll we'll make it better. But this is the the I don't need to hold tab anymore. These are the. Well, I can show you. Watch. Ready? See my score go up. <laughs> this is the car rocket. Uh huh. And if you watch some of our fellow members' uh, videos, you'll you'll understand the reference. Uh, why there's a car rocket here. Um, I haven't watched everyone's videos yet, but apparently the Jeb Jeep is the first wonder of Free Haven. And then this is Mango's tree, quotation marks. I don't think it's finished yet, but it's the second one of Free Haven. And this is just temporary tree farms. Pumpkin, mango, I don't understand. I assume this chicken farm is not its final resting place. Because I, I, I would assume that we're going to build a road through here at some point and there's the daredevil cow memorial tree i don't understand all the references yet there's some leather and meat temp cow breeding area feel free to move them and build them a home oh okay and this is Paige's house work in progress i'm not going to go in just in case oh i like this i guess she's been growing mushrooms or somebody's been growing mushrooms. I like that waterfall. I like it. This place is going to be a really cool place to build a city. That's for certain. Alright. Let's head over to the other side of town. Yeah, but I'd like to take a road through here at some point. It's going to be roads everywhere. And buildings on the roads. So let's head up here. I believe, what the heck, oh is it like a pool or something, I'm not sure. This is Clandall's storage pit and Clandall's obligatory house, nice and tiny. It looks like there should be a balcony up there, but there's no way to get up there. But whatever. And now we'll head over here. Da, 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 da. Let's eat some food. Potatoes are easy to make, but man, they, they don't last very long. So yeah, I haven't decided where I want. What's that? 
I haven't decided where I want to build my house yet, but... Pix will build here soon. Okay, so this is probably where Pix's house will be. In this side of this lake. I guess he doesn't mind flooding his basement. And this is our nether portal. Alright, the colors. I meant mentioning all of them. If we go into the nether, you'll see... Uh, my color turns red. And we haven't done much here. I think that's a path to to Bear's Paws or a Cherry Patch Community's uh, portal. But yeah, we basically just have a box right now. So let's head back. And we're not going to go there, but because we can't. Not yet, but the end, I believe, I can't remember what color the end is. Is it purple? It's probably purple. Oh, and if you go 5,000 blocks away from spawn, it turns gray, and that's the wastelands, and basically there, anything goes. <laughs> uh, someone would put a sign, I used to say overuse doing an experiment, AFK, whatever. But someone changed the name to Ovi's Bouncy Castle, which is kind of funny. Especially once you figure out what it is. So, as you can see, you have a very, very high score. And what I was doing was... I don't have any inventory. Let's just place this temporarily. Okay, so what I was doing... I originally didn't... These dirt things weren't here. And someone else put them in, which is probably good because it, I think it prevented me from falling to the side. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. See? Basically, it uh, propels you up. See, now I can just like AFK here for as long as I want. And you notice my score just keeps going up. And in order to see, it's nice. See how much my score It went up to like 1,000. Okay, we're going to stop it. Where is the switch? There we go. But yeah, that was that was a fun experiment, and it works. And that's how my sc score got so high. Because basically, I went to bed but left my account running on that thing all night. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's only a temporary. The the I think the score we're planning on changing the score like every month. And as you see, all I have all my stuff right here in the middle. This is only temporary. I, uh, I'm obviously going to have to move my stuff to wherever my house will be eventually. And this is B-Ran's shop. I don't think he has a house yet, but it'll probably be attached to here somehow. I don't know. Oh. I like that. That's cool. Alright, so, uh, I don't know who built this, if you have a natural spa, but it's nice, I like it. What is this? What is this? I don't, I don't know what this is. Hmm, I don't know, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's coming together. Obviously, we've got a lot of work to do still. But we've only just begun. Uh, now, oh, hey, in case you're wondering why there are boats, we had played a game of bumper boats because you can run boats into each other when they're not in the water and it doesn't do any damage. See, when we hit this, it just moves. Yeah, you do funny things when you're live streaming. Oh, it only just became night. Well, that's uh, okay. Uh, this right here, I don't know if it's officially called this yet, but basically this is going to be our national park. It's an entire uh, roofed forest biome, and we're eventually going to light up the whole thing so nothing can spawn under there and put, like, paths and stuff through it so you can, like, enjoy it as a park. But I don't know exactly how this started, but People, we were making tree puns with our names, and so here's what we have so far. We have Cane 83, Page of Maples, Clandal Wood, 
Over Aspen, B Ranch, and Stixel Riffs. I think we have some more names we should put up there, but I don't know if they have puns yet. Like, who are we missing? I think Jeff Furson, like for the kind of tree. Did we come up with the one for swordfish? I don't know. Let's think of one right now. Swordfish. Would it be like swordfish? That's dumb. I don't know. But, hmm. We'll have to think of a pu tree pun with swordfish. Swordfish's name. But we're going to travel on the roof because I don't think it's entirely lit. But you can see how big this place is. Let's see if we can get somewhere higher so we can see. Or we could just fall down. Whatever. It's pretty dark out, so you can't... I don't know if you can see. Uh, but you can probably see just by how long it's taking me to go this way. It goes a long way. It actually encompasses quite a fair chunk of our city borders. Ooh, this is a nice tall one. Or we could fall to the bottom and not be able to see anything at all. Well, hold on a second. Let me just, let's get out of here. Da, 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 da. Wow, it's dark down here. I apologize. Hi, bunny. Okay, let's... I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, I can get up over here. There we go. Back on top. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Look. See. Look how far away we are now. Oh, that's. I think that's Jefferson's house over there. Nobody has finished their houses yet. Obviously. You can see there's water over there, and but if we go too close that way, too far that way, it won't be in town anymore. Okay. There's there's something up here I wanted to see, and I wish that it was daytime, but. Still got like five minutes for it to be daytime, and maybe if it comes out dark in the video, I'll just brighten it. But right there, I think you can pretty you can still see it even though it's dark. That's Bird Mountain. That's a naturally 100% naturally occurring mountain, and I think it's just amazing because last last map we had the Dog Mountain, but now we have Bird Mountain. And you look, it has legs and everything. And it's actually right outside of Freehaven. By our, you can see by our color changing. But look, see, look, the legs, everything, all 100% natural. I just thought that was cool. Hi, sheep. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. Don't even know. Not even going to bother trying to figure out what to say about that. <laughs> So let's let's head back to spawn quickly. Again, apologize for the darkness, but you know, it's okay. It's just dark. Oh, bad guys, let's let's go around. Let's go this way. I was going to try to go up on the mountain so we could see what was going on, but there's a lot of bad guys because it's nighttime. Okay, we can probably go on this mountain. Gotta eat. Got to eat. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go up this mountain so we can get an overview of the area. Look at that. Mm hmm. So, yes, we haven't finalized where anything is gonna be per se yet. But I think it's going to look pretty good once it's done. I didn't, I didn't do anything except show you around, but I'm excited because then I'm going to get to start doing stuff. Next episode, I should have the road done by then. And who knows what I'll do next. I don't know. We still have to figure out where we want our house. There's lots and lots of room. But uh, I think that I'm going to call it an episode now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.